Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my PSP collection so far since 05. Got my first PSP in 2005 and I decided, hey, let's make a PSP collection. I know there's loads of videos like similar to what I'm going to do today, but you know, I just want to show everyone what I have. Since I think I have a pretty decent PSP collection. So yeah, let's just start then. Uh, okay, first game. Invisimals. You already know about this game. I already told you about it. Made a review. Showed the unboxing. Blah, blah, blah. So watch those if you want to know about this game. So yeah. Mine on 2. Now this is one of my more favourite games on the PSP. I mean, it's got violence. It's got action. It's got... A really awesome cutscenes and the voice acting is pretty awesome as well and it's made by Rockstar games so you have to love it it's just like GTA but it's not like you can walk around you're basically a man that uh, got hospitalized and now you're just uh, you got released and you have to survive outside and all that just get the game it's amazing okay Sonic Rivals 2, oh, and Sonic Rivals. Now, uh, these two games are pretty good, but I haven't played it that much, especially Sonic Hero, I mean, Rivals, because I've only really played Sonic Rivals 2. It's got more characters, more stages. It's just like uh, the Game Boy versions, except better graphics, you know, 3D, and yeah. If you want, like, a pretty decent game to play with your friend, then get these games because they're pretty awesome and also time trials are quite good so yeah get these crash tag team racing now what can i say about this game easy racing fun gameplay you play as tr crash why wouldn't you love it why wouldn't you i mean it's got items I this is similar to the PS1 um, version, the Nitro Racing one, and that was pretty much the best game I ever played on the PSP, PS1, I mean. So, you gotta get this game. The racing is so good, okay? Gurman. Um, I got this with uh, Super Pocket Tennis um, at Game Station like a year ago for like five quid you know I shot on money didn't have that much wanted something to play on and this was these two were brand new you know five quid so why not I got them you play as a girl in this one it's like a RPG adventure game and it's pretty much a kiddie game I mean it's free plus there's nothing really dangerous about it I mean I don't think you would like it but I personally like playing as a girl for once, yeah. Super Pocket Tennis is pretty awesome as well. Uh, it's pretty easy to play. It's really easy to get used to controls. Um, so it's just like every other tennis game on the PSP. Get it. The Simpsons game. Oh, what can I tell you? It's a 12 plus game. So yeah, no 10 year olds can play this game. It's got some violence in it. Well, it has a lot of violence in it. It's really easy to play. You complete complete it in like a few hours at most. And you just play as all these characters. And you try to fight back. As you know, Epa and all that. So yeah, it's a good game. I think it's gone platinum now. So you can see how well it's done. Yeah. The Sims 2 Pets. You know, I don't mind getting The Sims 2 pets. I originally wanted The Sims 2 because I've got like basically every Sims there is. And, well, I wanted one on a PSP, so I tried to get it, but I couldn't, and this was the only one there. I think I got like 10 quid, so it's alright. It does what it does. You play as a virtual player. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories, and... Liberty City Stories. Now, th these two games are really good. You have to have them. Even if you're 12, 
you have to get your parents to buy this okay it's um it came out in 2006 i think 2005 and 2006 these two games are amazing i mean it's got loads of content you got killing you got violence you got voice acting it's worth the 10 quid since these two games are platinums now so you can get them real cheap just get your parents give you 20 quid and go with you to games game station or game and get them really awesome games you have to have them on the PSP I'm, I'm probably not gonna get uh, Chinatown Wars on the PSP because I already have it on the DS so yeah I won't be getting that sorry guys uh, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix 16 plus game I think I got this when I was like 12 I don't know but I'm not really used to skating games there weren't really many games good games on the PSP at the time so I got this and it's not a bad skater game but I never actually got the achievements or anything so and I'm not really a skater person gamer so uh, but the customization on this game was awesome I all, that's all I remember the the skating wasn't really that uh, memorable for me Dynasty Warriors uh, what can I tell you about this game it sucks don't get this game I really hated this game. It's got the worst graphics, worst gameplay. I think it got like 2 out of 10 for GameSpot when it came out. Um, the combos suck. The gameplay sucks. Yeah, don't get this game. I mean, it came with my first PSP, so you can't expect much. And Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. This is one of my newer games. I got it in like Amsterdam in some airport. It wasn't in Dutch, so I decided, hey, let's get it. For the first time, become a master assassin on the PSP. Oh, this is a good game. You gotta get it. Um, you play as Altair, as, you know, if you're familiar to Assassin's Creed, then it just continues from there. And the voice acting is not the same. Altair does not sound the same in Assassin's Creed compared to this one, okay? So if you, it's more like a, a Eastern voice at the time. This game, it sounds more Eastern than the original Assassin's Creed. The gameplay is just the same, really, just on the PSP. The graphics are really awesome. You have to update to 6.0 to play this game. So uh, I recommend if you customize your PSP, then don't get this game because you won't be able to play it without you know upgrading your software, which I had to do. So yeah, get it. I mean, it's repetitive at most, but, well, you get used to it, and you can complete it in, like, a 10 hours at most, okay? I really love this game. Too bad I don't have a PS3, because uh, if you connect it to your PS, P, PS3, then you get some items for this game, and Assassin's Creed 2, which came out, like, a few months ago. So, yeah, must-have game. And, yeah, that's about it. Subscribe, rate, and look at my page. Peace.